Hello and welcome. Uh, this is the new update video of the progress of Saber uh, Raycasting Engine. This time I will be showing you um, how the world editor works currently. It's still under development and there is some bugs. And uh, yeah, just wanted to show you that uh, basic. Uh, uh, rendering from 2D map to a 3D world works now. And yeah, let's start up the program. So here we have the editor, and this is the options window. Um, uh, the graphical user interface of this editor will be totally different later, but this is the current one I'm using for testing this. So there really is no complete uh, graphical user interface yet. But yeah, um, here is the name of the tool that is currently selected. So there is a few tools and from here we can test run uh, a level we have built, and then there is uh, numerous um, debugging values uh, which you don't need to care about. Um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, when we first create a, a map, we have to set some borders for it. And for this, we take the tool set borders and then draw a rectangle that uh, represents the area we can draw the map inside. So here is our map area, and now we can begin drawing the map inside it. Um, first thing to do is to um, is this so one has to draw a rectangle uh, that goes around the area this is for if we leave this kind of holes here um, the ray casting system uh, will fail when you look into that hole because the system never sees a wall here and then the ray just keeps going into infinity and that makes the program crash. I will make it so that you can't run the editor or save the file if there is uh, gaps like that. Yeah. Uh, now let's um, draw some uh, walls and stuff into our map. So let's draw a rectangle shaped uh, room here like this and make an entrance to it and another entrance and let's take the pen tool and do this. Um, and then let's take the rectangle tool again and choose some other tile and draw another room and make an entrance. Oh yeah, uh, right mouse button uh, is used for uh, erasing tiles and mouse wheel is used for changing the current tile. Make another entrance here, and like that. And let's draw. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll show you the ellipse tool. It really, well, the ellipses are not all that great looking because they are a bit of blocks too, of course. And well. Ellipses made of blocks 
don't really look like ellipses, but let's still draw one like this. Kind of like an ellipse. And then I have something Thomas here and like that. So, yeah, just a quick example map. Uh, then let's uh, add some different kinds of tiles so you can see all the graphics that I have now in this and these graphics are still the ones that I have loaded from the internet so I don't own them or anything um yeah here we have a basic map oh yeah we can move around in the editor with W A S and D or the directional buttons Whichever you prefer. Prefer. Um, yeah. Uh, currently, the player will will spawn here when you start up the uh, uh, 3D version of this map. Here. Um, but later on, I will make it so that just as placing blocks, you can place. Uh, spawn points for the player, but now he will spawn here. And if we put a block here, uh, the program will crash <laughs> because uh, the player will spawn here inside the block, and it creates uh, illegal division by zero in the code and stuff. But that's just currently uh, in the later versions this problem will be uh, gone so yeah now let's uh, run our level in the test mode and we use left shift to hide the Unneeded stuff, and here you can see our map as a 3D world. Uh, you probably noticed that the frame rate is not really all that good. Uh, now it's 32, it should be at all time, but it drops to 16. But um, there is a few reasons for that, and they are that I'm recording currently and that I'm running uh, this inside the editor and and that my computer is quite bad <laughs> but yeah let's have a look here we have our rectangular shaped room and it leads to another one and it leads to a corridor from which we can enter the somewhat ellipse shaped room or circle shaped room yeah it works and here are our blocks that we placed here and we can go around this ellipse shaped room onto that block <laughs> so yeah i think that's pretty much all there is to it now um then just let's go back to the editor mode. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and and keep yourself updated with the Saber progress uh, by checking the topic often and watching every new videos I make. Thanks for watching. Bye.